it's John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're taking a test drive on the Prism by Jackson Audio. So let me tell you about how we're recording this. We've got my 55 Strat just running directly in with the Klotz cable right into the Prism. Prism's being powered by Voodoo Labs pedal power. Out of that, we're running straight into this Fender Supersonic amp in the clean channel that's basically flat. Might go into the dirty later on, that's flat as well. We're micing it with a Royer R121 mic that's going to an Apache Quartet and a Pro Tools. So, Strat, pedal, amp, mic, Pro Tools, universe. Here's what it sounds like without the pedal engaged. Nothing wrong with that, but add the prism, we get all kinds of mojo. And really, the cool thing about this, it's a very transparent boost if you want. And a lot of it has to do with this switch right over here, which is a circuit selector. I had it on the transparent setting right there, which makes it a transparent kind of boost. Just gives you more of what you got. Great way to jump up for those solos without a whole lot of change. Now, say you want something a little different. Right up here in the middle is the amp setting, which kind of emulates a you know, tube amp, giving you a little more grit and growl. I like it. Then up here is the color, um, which is more of a vintagey kind of thing. So let's try that. To me, that's almost like a like a Fender Tweed amp. You know, just that kind of sound. Those those once you move them above like three, they kind of have that sort of dirt to them. So. So let me put it back on the transparent and we can get into these two happy fellows. Basically, tone and body. So tone is giving your high end. Roll it up, roll it down. That gets you into that kind of treble booster land. Try it on the on the uh, the middle setting. Now that's a lot of high end, but to me, a lot of times when you're particularly recording, if you're recording things a little brighter than you think, somehow it seems to kind of cut better, even if it seems a little harsh in the room. So, cool setting. Over here, we've got our, our body, which, let me put her back in the transparent, right in the middle. Cool, right? Let's try them both up there a little bit. Nice. I'll put it in the middle setting again. What I like about this is it's just, it gives you that very ampy sound. Um, it sounds like your rig, just like it's working harder. There's something that happens when amps just work harder where they kind of come more alive. I don't know if it's like a natural compression or whatever it is, but man, it really seems to 
jump out. So let's jump over here. Here's the pre-game switch, which gives you three settings of high, medium, and low. Um, I've had it on the high gain because, well, because PG fans are fans of high gain. So <laughs> that's where we tend to like it. But put it down on the low and you're just gonna have a little, be a little more subtle. Oh, did you notice that? As you turn up this, this indicator lets you know where you're going. So right there, not so much. There, a little bit more. Ooh, look at that. And, and then, oh, we're angry all the way up. So kind of a cool little indicator. But when you're on the low gain, even with it all the way up, you're not getting a lot of overdrive. You know, just... In fact, if I had this pedal, that might be where I ride it a lot, kind of goosed up. Because I like, I like a good clean tone, um, and that really kind of gives you that stingy clean tone. With just a little bit, you're not getting any grit from this, it's all kind of coming from the amp. Very cool. So medium, I'm just gonna keep it dimed right there, hear what it does on medium. So, yeah, cool. Dare we do it all the way? Oh, let's do it, man. Let's put it on the high gain. Oof. Plug your ear. Now's a good time to show you what it sounds like with humbuckers after I broke that string. Let's switch guitars. Now we're in humbucker land with six strings again. I'm gonna turn this down. We're gonna be in the high gain with it right about in the middle. And actually I'll keep this in the middle as well. So here we go. Without. That is a cool overdrive tone. You know, not, not rectifier dirty, but a really good clear dirty, if that makes sense. So very cool option. Love that it's a great clean boost, but love that you can use it as a dirt pedal as well. So those are the basics of the Prism by Jackson Audio. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz. Why not have the hard copy sent right to your home? That way you can read my column and all the other great stuff in there. This is John Bolger. Till next time, let's just dime this pig up there and see what it does. Yeah! <laughs>